Apple's researchers team, featuring David Grangier, Angelos Katharopoulos, Pierre Ablin, and Ani Hanan, has embarked on a mission to make AI more accessible and cost-effective. Their paper, Specialized Language Models with Cheap Inference from Limited Domain Data, delves into the challenges and solutions for developing language models that don't break the bank. In this video, we explore the essence of their findings, blending insights from both discussions to present a comprehensive overview of their innovative approach to AI development. Now, language models are at the heart of AI's ability to mimic human language, enabling applications ranging from chatbots to sophisticated data analysis tools. Despite their potential, the high cost associated with training and deploying these models, especially those designed for specific accurate tasks, has been a significant barrier. Apple's research aims to dismantle this barrier by addressing four key cost areas, pre-training, specialization, inference, and the size of the domain-specific training sets. The pre-training phase lays the foundational knowledge for the model, while the specialization phase tailors it to particular domains or tasks. The inference cost pertains to the computational resources needed for the model to make decisions or predictions in real time, and the size of the in-domain training set impacts the model's ability to fine-tune for specific tasks. So, to tackle these cost challenges, Apple's team investigated several strategies. The first is important sampling that prioritizes learning from data that is most relevant to the task at hand. This method ensures that models focus on crucial information, like medical texts for a healthcare AI, rather than irrelevant data. By honing in on the most pertinent data, important sampling reduces the need for vast domain-specific datasets, saving on specialization costs. Then there is hypernetworks that represent a flexible approach where one network generates parameters for another, allowing for dynamic adjustments to different tasks. This adaptability means a model can quickly shift its focus depending on the domain, utilizing a broad pre-training dataset and then specializing with a smaller, targeted dataset. Hypernetworks cut down on inference costs by maintaining high performance without the need for constant retraining. Distillation is another one. Distillation involves transferring knowledge from a large, complex teacher model to a simpler, smaller student model. This process enables the creation of lightweight models that retain the accuracy of their more substantial counterparts but at a fraction of the cost. Distillation addresses the dual challenge of keeping both pre-training and inference costs low, making advanced AI deployable on less powerful devices. But Apple's researchers didn't just stop with these methodologies. They put them to the test across various domains, such as biomedical, legal, and news, under different budget scenarios. Their findings revealed that the effectiveness of each method varies depending on the specific needs and available resources of the project. Hyper networks and mixtures of experts emerged as frontrunners for scenarios with ample pre-training budgets, whereas important sampling and distillation shown in contexts requiring significant specialization budgets. This exploration goes beyond theoretical analysis. It offers a practical guide for selecting the most suitable, cost-effective AI development method tailored to individual project constraints. The broader impact of this research is its contribution to democratizing AI, making high-performance models achievable within a constrained budget. By making advanced AI technologies more accessible, Apple's work promises to level the playing field, enabling smaller entities and startups to leverage AI's transformative power. Moreover, the study aligns with wider industry efforts to enhance AI's efficiency and adaptability, such as collaborations aimed at facilitating the creation and sharing of specialized language models. This synergy between research and industry initiatives underscores a collective drive towards strategic, thoughtful AI development that prioritizes both efficiency and accessibility. In essence, Apple's research underscores a pivotal shift in AI development philosophy. The most effective model is not necessarily the largest or most expensive, but the one that aligns with specific project requirements and constraints. This insight encourages a more nuanced approach to AI development, where strategic planning and method selection can overcome financial and resource limitations. So Apple's research team has really pushed the envelope in making high-tech AI stuff more available to everyone. They've dug deep into how to make AI without spending a fortune, showing us ways to innovate without being held back by high costs. Their work is a big deal because it helps tech folks get smarter about building AI and opens up new possibilities for using AI in all kinds of areas. Basically, they're making sure the cool things AI can do are something we can all benefit from, not just those with big budgets. 
All right, that wraps up our video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.